Howdy, everyone. Alrighty, well, I've got some more work accomplished on these cables. Let me go back to um, the propeller governor cable. That one is now finished, and this is the last cable of the, uh, the three that I need to put in here. So this bracket here is another custom-made bracket. Um, again, the, the one that came with the engine was too short, so I made this one a little bit longer. And now it connects nicely to my prop governor, and it's got plenty of travel, and it seems to work pretty good. I, I need to make some adjustments on this prop governor, but that's going to wait, obviously, until the engine is running. And I can cycle the prop and make sure that I'm getting full RPM and make sure that I can bring it back and uh, it works correctly. During the flight phase, again, I'll be checking for um, full RPM. And then I'll be bringing the prop back and seeing um, how, how uh, um, coarse of a pitch I can get. And if I need to make any adjustments, I'll have to do that here. But for now, the cable is in, and again, there's no binding. Everything works freely. And again, it comes through a bulkhead ball type of swivel fitting like the other two here. And it comes through the cockpit and, of course, connects to the quadrant. I've also been working on this end of the quadrant. I now have... The bracket is now bolted in place. You can see the two bolts there that attach it to the side of the fuselage. Actually, it ties it to the fuselage stringer. And then on this end here, I've got my 90 degree bracket. You can see on the bracket here, that is a bolt threaded in from the back side, and I put a point on it. And when I was fitting, Fitting my side cover here, I use this point to make a mark on the back of the side cover so I can put a hole in the cover itself and it would line up with this nut plate. I've already done that. I've got the cables connected to the handles inside here, but they're not um, cotter keyed yet. The downside to this is the way that I have it configured, uh, to get to the the clevis pin that's attached to the throttle lever, so the clevis pin that's furthest in the back, I can't get to it to put the cotter pin itself into the clevis pin. So this is going to have to come out so I can get that done. These bolts need to come out anyway because these four bolts also attach the cover plate. So these are going to have to come out any anyway, but I'm going to have to figure out how to get this whole thing out without it falling apart. Because you know how, if you don't, you'll find out very quickly that all these little spacers and stuff that are in here, those things will just fall apart once you take this bolt out. So, I'm probably going to have to pull this whole thing out and try to get the, um, the individual connections on each lever cotter keyed and then... Uh, figure out how to get it back together with the cover plate and things of that nature. So not the end of the world, but it's something that I'm thinking is probably going to be a little bit tedious, but I'll get there when I get there. So anyway, back to the bracket. Again, the bracket is in place. I've got my 90 degree bracket here in place. I'm ready to put the cover on. Um, and then the cover cover will attach, I think I've talked about this before, but the cover will attach to this. It will now attach to this bracket. This bracket will also provide support for the, these cables. And then the cover plate also attaches all the way forward to that next bulkhead. It attaches there as well. So this will be nicely supported. And that will be it. I will, I'm done with the cables until uh, first flight. And if I need to make adjustments, I'll make them at that point. So I'm going to work on getting this cover on, getting those um, clevis pins cotter keyed. And i got to put a cotter key, a cotter pin in... 
longer are you? This nut, this connection here also needs a cotter pin. So I'm going to get some of those loose ends done next, and uh, I'll talk to you guys here later.